Hi, I'm Dan Riskin. I'm Chloe Wild, filling in for Zaya while she's away this week. And as you can tell, we're both wearing green for St. Patty's Day. Yeah, and in that spirit, if you want to keep track of who's drinking your green beer, or any beer for that matter, we've got an invention for you. My name's Phil Harlow and I created the first smart kegerator that uses facial recognition. I came up with the idea uh, after I'd had my kegerator for a couple months and uh, my roommates and I were kind of going through the kegs pretty quickly and I wanted to get an idea of who was drinking when and which beers. So I created a system that would log the pours and uh, would keep a record such that when it came time to refill the kegs, I could go back through the logs and figure out roommate A drank 50% of it and roommate B drank 25% and uh, divvy up the payments according. I started with a Raspberry Pi, um, which is an educational, low-cost, $35 computer. Uh, it's not very powerful, but it's uh, aimed for the entry market um, for people to get into computer programming. And then from there, I added a camera module, which allowed me to do the facial recognition at a decent frame rate. And then I installed flow meters inside the kegerator uh, in the beer line, such that I could tell when each beer was flowing and get an idea of how much beer was flowed. Um, and then I added a temperature sensor in the cabinet as well to monitor the temperature and humidity over time. So you walk up to the smart kegerator and you have your glass in hand and once, once the beer has started flowing it will kick on the Raspberry Pi's camera which will start running the facial recognition which helps determine which user it was that was pouring. Um, and then once the pour finishes we log uh, the amount poured, the beer poured, the date and the time and then also the user that poured the beer such that we could review that after the fact. The flow meters don't seem to affect the pour speed at all so um, it's almost as if the system isn't there. Uh, which is what I was originally going for. The facial recognition algorithm that I use is very quick and dirty, so um, it's definitely very easy to fool, um, and it's, it's more of a proof of concept and a uh, kind of been a fun project for me. Um, but I definitely foresee my roommates kind of wearing some masks and trying to trick the system down the road. It took me about 60 to 80 hours uh, to, to get the first version running. Uh, it's still very much in a prototype stage, and uh, there's going to be many, many more improvements that are going to come.